breaking news. Federal government cannot comply with the UN directives asking Nigeria to release Mazin Namdekano unconditionally and also pay him compensation. The Nigerian Court of Law will decide the fate of IPUB leader Mazin Namdekano, Adamu Garaba says. Hmm. What exactly is the problem of these people? Why are they so concerned about what happened to IPOP leader and what happened to Biafra agitators? How can you be carrying an elephant on your head and you are using your leg to pick cricket? It doesn't make sense. We don't get problem for our region. We don't never feel settled the bandits and Boko Haram matter when don't take over your, your region. But once they mention Mazen Namdekano, once they mention IPOP agitators, Una, they come out from everywhere to come to come and talk or whatever. See, if the Nigerian government refuse to comply, they don't shoot themselves for feet. That is it. ICC will be waiting for President Mamadou Buhari after his tenure because by then, hmm? Immunity don't come off for your head. ICC, International Criminal Court. You go go there, go face all these atrocities that has been committed by the federal government of Nigeria. AGF Malami not go free. You understand? So, make Kuna the advisor. Make him not release IPOB leader. He should not comply with the directives given by the UN make him not comply. This is exactly what happened when Igbo leaders in 2021, uh, Igbo elders, you know, visited President Muhammad Buhari. This visitation was beheaded by uh, Mba Zulike Amechi, an old man, 92 years old at that time, because now he's 93. He appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to release Mazen Namdekano. Buhari don't already agree. He said it's tough. Oh. Say, but he go look into it. Now, so not as not an others will talk. Coalition of this from the north will talk. Mieti Allah will talk. Everybody they talk. This and this and that. Mazen Namdekano cannot be released and all that. What exactly is the problem they have with this? I pop agitator. Do you think that if Nigerian government continue to go about the case of I probably the Mazen Namdekano the way they are going about it, will it stop the agitations in the Southeast? No. You have succeeded in energizing them. That is it. You have succeeded in motivating them to keep on their agitations. That is just it. But it seems that they don't even think to that end. All this gaga now when they do, it you not know, stop agitations from start from southeast to if the Nigerian government do not address the issue of agitations properly, the way they are going about it is not the way to solve matter. Leaders, leaders. When you are treating matter, first of all, you go to the root of that issue. How can you tell us that you want to uproot a tree instead of you to go to the root and remove the tree? You are cutting out, cutting off the branches. It will still grow, even look more beautiful, more greenish than you ever thought. That is it. So may them continue to the, you know, Tell the president what to do. The release mass and the candidates and that. But on our very eyes, then they release, then they release um, Boko Haram commanders. Then they release them. In your very eyes. These ones now terrorists we are talking about. is a different case from this. But some persons, the same they will talk. 
IPOP member, uh, IPOP leader is a terrorist, this and that. Who gave birth to IPOP leader? Is it not the same government? Hmm. Record that um, an international working group has declared the arrest of IPOP leader. The IPOP leader Mazen Namdekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, as unlawful and an infringement on his international human rights. This group comprises scholars and experts who specialize in human rights issues and related laws. Kano is facing terrorism charges in Nigeria before Justice Binta Inyako of the Federal High Court in Abuja. He has been in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, since mid-2021. The IPOP leader was detained after he was arrested in Kenya and repatriated in June 2021. Or can I say adopted in Kenya? He was adopted over his agitation for Biafra and by extension, Nigerians break up. The statement by the working group said the working group is mindful that Article 92 of the Covenant requires that anyone who is arrested is not only informed of the reasons for the arrest, but also promptly informed of any charges against them, as explained by the Human Rights Committee in its general comment number 35. The obligation escapulated in Article 92 has two elements. One, information about the reasons for the arrest must be provided immediately upon arrest, and there must be prompt information about the charges provided thereafter. So, failure to do so violates Article 9 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Article 9 of the Covenants, and Principle 10 of the Body of Principles and renders the person's arrest devoid of any legal base. So consequently, Kano's arrest without an arrest warrant and with no explanation as to the reasons for the arrest violates his right under Article 9 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So this is the reason why they asked the Nigerian government to release the IPOB leader or conditionally and pay him compensation. Drop in it here, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much.